Kate found Wings of Walkabout with Harry and Meghan after Queen's death one of the hardest things she have ever had to do because of the ill feeling between the couple, sensational new book reveals. Kate found on Wings of Walkabout with the successes after the Queen's death one of the hardest things she would ever had to do, a sensational new royal book reveals today. The Princess of Wales told the senior royal it was so difficult for her because of the ill feeling between the couples. Veteran royal correspondent Robert Jobson says the new book called Our King, um, serialized in the Daily Mail and the Mail on Sunday this weekend, lays bare the inside story of the royal's war with the success before, during, and after Mexit. It also tells how Charles was frustrated at Harry's bad manners for overshadowing his 2016 golf tour by releasing the statement confirming his relationship with Meghan but demanding they be left alone. The Queen was mystified by Harry and Meghan's public criticism of the monarchy and members of the royal family and described their behaviour as quite mad. Charles and William decided that they could not risk being alone with Harry again after the Sussex's bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey in March 2021 and would no longer treat him as a trusted member of the firm. There were fears that if Meghan was allowed to join by video link from Canada, the so-called Sandringham Summit to trash out details of the Sussex's future in January 2020, it would not be secure. Kate and William's appearance with Harry and Meghan to greet well wishes and view the flowers outside the gate of Windsor Castle came two days after the Queen's death at the age of 96 in September last year. Too many, the couple's joint walkabout, said to have been William's idea to put on a show of unity, might have seemed like some kind of reconciliation, but Mr. Jobson says sources close to the royal family have confirmed to him that that was just an illusion. Catherine later admitted to a royal, a senior royal at that, uh, such was the ill feeling between the two couples. The joint walkabout was one of the hardest things she would ever had to do, he writes. It comes as relations between the Sussexes and the rest of the royal family remain at an all-time low following a series of blistering attacks over the past year. The Harry and Meghan Netflix documentary in December criticized King Charles as a father before taking a swipe at the choice of wives by male members of the firm. Harry insisted that his decision to marry Meghan set him apart from his family because it was from his heart and not because she would fit in the mold. Meanwhile, the Duke's bombshell memoir released in January dealt full of blows to the reputation of the monarchy. Harry accused his brother of assault, branded his stepmother a villain, and repeatedly spoke to the family's unconscious bias when it comes to race. They are, they are set yet to be reconciliation and all eyes are on the king's coronation on May 6th. And crucially, whether or not the Sussexes will attend the coronation.